वेलकम पीपल इन दिस वीडियो वी वॉन्ट टू लुक एट जेरोडर्मा पिगमेंटोसम सी जेरोडर्मा पिगमेंटोसम वॉट वी हैव ऑलरेडी सीन इन लास्ट वीडियोज इट इज कमिंग अंडर डर्मैटोसिस दैट इज इट इज अ स्किन डिसऑर्डर ओके एंड इट इज कमिंग अंडर जेनेटिक डर्मैटोसिस फाइन वी हैव ऑल्सो सीन दैट इट इज अ प्री मैलिग्नेंट लीशन दैट मीन्स it can lead to malignancy <clears throat> later it can lead to malignancy it can lead to squamous cell carcinoma basal cell cell carcinoma or melanocarcinoma okay so this much we have already seen in the last video now let us continue what extra we are they are telling in this here it is a autosomal recessive disorder so basically the person is going to inherit it right so it is recessive which is good so basically it is going to be inherited so the person is going to inherit it it is recessive which is good so not everybody will get it so let's review what we have seen so far xeroderma pigmentosum is a type of dermatosis that is it is a skin disorder it is a genetic dermatosis that is it is inherited it is having autosomal recessive inheritance okay so this is xeroderma pigmentosum fine this is a premalignant lesion the patients of xeroderma pigmentosum are more prone to developing various skin cancers like squamous cell carcinoma basal cell carcinoma and melanocarcinoma fine let's move on to some details now what exactly happens here let's take this photo Here, as you can see, the sun-exposed skin is vulnerable to damage, and the body is not able to repair it. Okay, so there is a decreased ability to repair the sun-induced damage. First of all, there is sun-induced damage to DNA. Okay, and decreased ability to repair the damage. Fine. So there is damage to DNA. and all this is not because of sunlight because this is because of a person having this kind of a genetic condition okay <clears throat> continuing so here what we are going to see this condition is a hypersensitivity of the skin to sunlight that is determined by a recessive gene the disorder may lead to multiple malignancies of the skin such as basal cell carcinoma squamous cell carcinoma and malignant melanoma xeroderma pigmentosum has already been gen described under genetic dermatosis so basically all this we already know so it is hypersensitivity of the skin that is determined by a recessive gene this is kind of a a hypersensitivity this word was not there before so we'll just keep this much moving on so hypersensitivity it is this is because of gen a gene recessive gene now coming to histological understanding this is skin layers all the layers are affected that is dermis and epidermis are affected hyperkeratosis stratum malphigi will thin and get atrophied there will be no stratum malphigi can you imagine the entire stratum malphigi in the epidermis will become so small because it is actually a very big layer and that itself will become thin and atrophied inflammatory cells will be there like lymphocytes macrophages etc melanin will get accumulated melanin let's put in uh, some different color melanin will get accumulated <clears throat> basal cell layer means what stratum basal is it stratum basal is here see the lower most part of uh, epidermis it is also called as germinatum okay it's also called as stratum germinatum or stratum basal hold on so the information has been added here see here stratum germinatum or stratum basal okay is the base and you can see melanocytes here so a lot of melanin will accumulate here 
in stratum bissae. Stratum spinosum will get thin, it will become thin and atrophied. In the dermis what you can see? In the dermis you will see inflammatory cells like neutrophils, macrophages etc. Hyperkeratosis, thick, thickening of the outer layer. Melanin, okay, the basal cell layer. And in advanced stages, you will see changes of skin cancer. Okay, I think we can revise now, correct? So let's start. Steroderma pigmentosum, it is a dermatosis, that is, it is a skin disorder, it is a genetic dermatosis, it is inherited, autosomal recessive disorder, it is. It can become a pre -malign it is a pre-malignant lesion, that is it can lead to malignancy. What are the types of malignancies? Squamous cell carcinoma, basal cell carcinoma, melanocarcinoma. These three can be the result of xeroderma pigmentosum. Sun exposed skin is more vulnerable to damage. The sunlight, okay, the UV light actually, UV radiation in sunlight or the sunlight induced damage to the DNA and the body is unable to repair this damage. This is a hypersensitivity of the skin determined by the recessive gene. Histologically, there is hyperkeratosis, thinning and atrophy of stratum malphagy. The inflammatory cells will be there in the dermis. There will be accumulation of melanin in the basal cell layer. I think that should come before because these three are something to do with the epidermis and then you have the inflammatory cells in the dermis. In advanced stages, there will be changes in skin cancer, changes of the skin cancer that is related to the skin cancer. So you can write that like for squamous cell carcinoma, what changes? Basal cell carcinoma, what changes? Melanin, melanocarcinoma, what changes? Etc. So we have covered xeroderma pigmentosum. See you. Bye, bye, bye.